Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. Here we are at uh, at the 50th M anniversary. It's a pretty big uh, deal. In Toronto, yeah. We're checking out the M2 in person. I'm super excited. There's a lot of really cool cars here as well, like the CSL. Yeah, most um, and so yeah, we're gonna just kind of walk you guys through it, check out some cool cars and be excited. Hopefully it's good looking. Oh, the yeah. M2, I'm praying, man. We'll I think see. it's going to be. Yeah, let's check it out. So beautiful. All right, start it up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is so tight. Like yeah? this is your. How does yeah. it feel? You know what? It's the perfect size for a guy like me, I'd say. And the carbon thing—it's not you. It's not impeding you at all, right? No, not at all. I'm not that big in certain areas, so it's completely fine, right? Yeah, real small, real small. Yeah, real, real small where it doesn't count. Yeah, this is way different than the M3. It's nice. They made it like the Mercedes one. Yeah. Steering wheel. Yeah. I love these buns in red. Oh yeah. You pop so in the cool. M1, M2, and then you got the different feel in the back yeah, of the paddles. This off. Carbon. This is definitely the carbon package, right? Because of this. Yeah, yeah, carbon pack. So we're at the reveal guys the car is phenomenal in person um, I'm definitely sold on it especially the interior I'm a really big fan of the carbon buckets carbon fiber roofs really nice carbon interior is really nice the whole car itself is just boxy and aggressive um, but the one thing I don't like about it is the actual color blue doesn't look that good on it it's like quite a feminine color so I think I'd probably go for the red or the black what do you think about it bro at the beginning when I first saw the front, I wasn't sold on it, but then once you started talking about the carbon lip, I was like, that's gonna make it a little more sporty. It's gonna give it like, you know, more of a lower look. So that as well. The back I actually like, which is surprising, because I was yeah. very hell-bent on the yeah. taillights. I was like, absolutely not. So you like the taillights and the headlights? I do, well? I do, I do like them, they work. And I think the car is only gonna grow on you, but again, the biggest downside, like you've already said, the pastel blue color yeah. is just not doing it. Yeah. But it's also under studio lights, which gives it a bit of a different view versus the sun. You 
have this kind of inlaid front headlight and also the grill has that same sort of design so it's pushed in um, and just overall you know with the boxiness here as well everything looks together and proper yeah it's fluid they maintain the same design language right yeah definitely you know same thing with the emblem you kind of have it recessed inside here and you have the 50th emblem as well 50th anniversary looks absolutely fantastic you have a little bit of a power dome as well i'm not the biggest fan of this hood because it's a little elongated and the power dome isn't super aggressive in my opinion I'd probably look to get a GTS styled hood with like vents in it. Nice. All I think is that it needs a nice front lift and it'd be perfect. One thing I would do though is I would definitely change out the wheels. Um, either get spacers to push these out a little bit or you know just go for different wheels that have a, a more aggressive offset. And then coming off to the side we have the classic M3, M4 mirrors. It looks very, very nice. You can really see it here. I mean it's just, it's so wide and aggressive. It comes down here, it flares out a little bit. It's got like a boxy design. And again, these hips are massive, just like the F87. And then moving along to a very controversial part of the car, we have the rear. If you want to come get a shot of the whole All thing, right. it's, it's quite different. So in person, the taillights themselves are actually quite nice. I do like them. Again, you know, crazy geometry, recessed design. You have this, uh, this square boxy look going on as well. Now the one thing I'm not a big fan of is this right here. You see this design? It's like a square and then it kind of tapers off. That's the one thing that I'm not 100% sure on, uh, but overall it's, it's quite nice in person. This grill extends into the headlight right over here. So I don't think that's a turning signal, it's probably up here, but that's a really cool touch that you may not notice upon first look. Yeah. We'll see another Easter egg. As you can see here, it's got a nice little BMW Easter egg. Oh, that's that. cool. Wow. Check that out. You think that blinks when you turn? No, I'll probably probably not. Probably just this part, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Whoo! Here we are in the BMW M2 G87. A little more quiet in here too. Oh. Very relaxed. I'm not gonna lie, these seats feel Butter. Really, really nice. Oh, it moves now as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, that's that's incredible. I mean, you have the carbon fiber paddles. Oh, the turn signals are working too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's on right Does now. Does it start work? Let's, oh, no, 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 no. Let's I don't try know about it. Let's that. try it. So, first thing off the rip, the actual display. Yeah. That's going to get some getting used to, but I actually like it. I mean, it's, it's quite a lot of technology at your fingertips. You know, everything's here. Oh, that works. I mean, look at that. There's so many apps. It's fast around. too. Yeah, good, good response time as well. Like that feels almost like an iPad, you know. Must not be Apple. <laughs> here you have, uh, you know, your. Oh, so there's no climate control down here yeah, anymore. Yeah, no, none of that stuff. It's all up here now. Oh, max rear. Let's get some... Oh, interesting. Yeah, you have the volume knob. Very interesting. Shifter has all sorts of stuff as well. Ooh. I mean, it, it's quite beautiful. This is part of the carbon package you have to pay in Canada thirteen thousand dollars for. Oh my goodness. It includes the carbon roof. The carbon bucket seats as well and uh an m track day so okay. quite a few things but yeah like i mentioned the screen it's going to take getting used to but i don't mind it right now now let's talk about the steering wheel feels really nice you got the carbon paddles you have the m1 m2 buttons which for m1 you could put you know efficient comfort all that good stuff and then m2 could be more of like a race style got some carbon inlay oh and check this out you have the uh, the heated steering wheel button right here. Oh, very convenient. As opposed to on the side. Yeah. It used to always be on the side A for A lot BMWs. of people didn't notice it, actually. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So now, the one thing that I will absolutely say I don't like, and somebody brought this up to us, okay. is the fact that the M50th anniversary badges are all over this oh, car, yes. except, except for right here. Womp, womp, womp. The one place that you're constantly looking, you have the M, uh, you know, styled, Tricorn right here. Amazing. No, it's not 50th, it's, not, it's just no? regular M, M, uh, M decals. Beautiful. Let me open the door and actually show you guys. As you can Stunning. see, you have this kind of like design as well. This is all, you know, more or less plastic, but looks really, really good. A big upgrade over the F87. This is quite different. I've never seen anything like this on a BMW. Looks a lot more luxurious. Yeah, it almost seems like, like something that belongs in like a Bentley or Rolls Royce. Yeah, exactly. But. And then finally, obviously, you got the seats if you want to get that behind me. Stunning. This does glow. Oh. So not right now when the car opens, closes, that kind of stuff. You got the carbon fiber here as well. You're bolstered really nicely. And also, I believe there's holes all over the place okay, to save nice. a little bit of weight. So one thing, if you want to look into these side mirrors, you can see how 
crazy the hips on this thing are. Okay. Check it out. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Okay guys, so that is gonna do it for the video. Overall, I'm super impressed. Exterior-wise, interior-wise, super nice car, and this may be on order very soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.